as right now a lot of them are going to rush in. And, uh, yep, they will uh, guess the box, which is a good game to play right now. Night Fox, though, gets taken out. And with a flying leap, Spence gets in here. The bug has to take out Spence. And meanwhile, that means Seaside actually is wide open to GHC at the moment. So, Grays Harbor will move into that position. St. Germain and the uh, Small Potato I've got your trail. are the ones left alive here. Small Potato able to get the kill on the Twisted Drew. He is going to be very low. So this is going to be a very big Killjoy ultimate. As nicely done there. Gets at least one. And uh, really, he should be able to stick this. Oh my gosh. And St. Germain with the op shot is able to get the last kill. Um, fantastic job there. I wish I had seen his POV and what he saw there, because I think she was standing up on top of the hill just out of the range of his ultimate sending in the dog, but... Uh... Here we are. Last round before the half, round 12. Ashram this time is going to be picking up the operator. And... Let's see what he gets done with it this time. Ah, oh, he's going to get taken out. Spence with a flying leap, able to go deep in. And it's going to be St. Germain also getting marked. And this flank, though, from Tywood and the bug is incredibly well-timed. So right now, they know there's a member in here. And that's actually going to be Spence finding Tywood. The bug is here. And trying to get out is Alberto. Is right now, he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. He's got the bug on one side and St. Germain on another. Meanwhile, St. Germain also is being flanked. And right now, it looks like he'll be able to get out for now. St. Germain doesn't know about the... Yep, doesn't know about the guy on the backside of A. And that was unfortunate timing. There is the bug. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. He is going to be here, but what is he going to be able to do right now? He'll hear the... He repositions, but only as like a fake, which is a pretty good idea right now. He needs to try and see what he can find, and he does find one. Can he find the other one who's sitting up in heaven right now? Cover going out. He will hear it. Gets it halfway. Oh, and he had his knife out. Oh, that's a disappointment right there. Ten to two is how things are going to end at the half. Look for my shadows. They will hide you. And, uh... So, Concordia now to be on the offensive here on Lotus. Let's see how they fare on this side of the map. Concordia right now looking like they want to take C. And we'll see how that works out for them. So right now, Real Riz is the only one really on the site there to begin. We'll throw some util in that direction, though. And Night Fox does find Tywood. So the initial push from Concordia is going to leave lead with them having not quite as many to go here. St. Germain finding a couple kills, though. On the back side, and he finds another one. That's a 3k for him. Spike down, and with that, Ashram finds the last kill. So a 3k from St. Germain, stopping the flank from coming through from Gray's Harbor. Tywood was immediately popped 
there at the beginning. Let's take a quick look at the scoreboard right now. Tywood is leading with 17 kills for Concordia. Six deaths, three assists. Nearly everybody except for the bug for Concordia in the double digits. As we saw last game, actually, Small Potato was the one who was able to top frag in that game. So, Concordia now looking for a bit of a push here. And uh, taking that, Small Potato able to win out against the Shorty on the other side, which is big. Highwood now moving his way through. Concordia looking for the flawless round as they find it on the B site. Absolute good cleanup there from Concordia. And with the quick first two rounds done, we have match point opportunity. But the economy will be in favor of Gray's Harbor for them to defend as they should be able to get rifles for the most part. Yeah, they'll be able to get mostly all rifles and one omen going over to Gold Night Fox as things go forward, so. so Ty would take a couple shots here. They're going to be careful of this corner because Spence has definitely got it under wraps. Dog goes through there, but doesn't get much out of it. Small Potato going to try to hold the corner here. And, oh my gosh, Small Potato gets the kill onto Golden Night Fox. Spence finds Tywood in the end after all that damage. And nicely done there. Twisted Drew taken out. That means Concordia has control of the C site right now. Bomb is back with Small Potato, and he is still back in spawn for the most part. Right now, Astrum is sort of going on this long flank. As he does find... He had found a rifle, actually. And so now they're moving forward. And now, with all that said, the kills go through. Concordia wins. And that will be Concordia getting... The win here in week seven of the NECC against Grays Harbor Silver. So that will be the end of this. Tywood finishing off with 20 kills in this game, 13 to 2. And like I said, we will be back at around 9.30 for our match up against UNK. Um, that will be one you don't want to miss. UNK, I believe, right now is sitting third in the uh, rankings and your Concordia Bulldogs are still undefeated at what is now 6-0 and for them and so we will go forward into that so yes congratulations and we'll see everybody here back in a couple hours